In Moo Young High School, Si Min is a former boxing champion who was hired as a substitute teacher. Although the school appears to be quite peaceful, it is now being controlled by a violent student gang that constantly bullies students to entertain themselves. Si Min simply wants to be an official employee as a teacher. Still, while she was in the toilet, she overhears two female teachers talking about the previous substitute teacher taking his own life due to the constant bullying he received from the gang. After Si Min gets out of the toilet, she meets with Lee J. Kyung, one of the two female teachers who shows her a video of the gang bullying an older woman. Si Min couldn't believe her eyes, but she recognized the leader of the gang, Han Su Gang, a frightening bully who humiliates students and teachers. J. Kyung tells her some dangerous things about Han Su Gang's past and advises her not to intervene if she ever sees a fight between the kids. Si Min takes her advice but later goes to her father's boxing gym, where she expresses her frustrations about her new job to Quan Jung, her sparring partner who is also a police officer. Although Si Min pretends not to care about others, he tells her that she still can't put up with the wrong things, a behavior she shares with her father, whom she despises. The next day, after having a great day at school, Si Min walks out of class and sees Han Su Gang bullying another student, Go Jin Hyung. She hid when she was about to be discovered. She tries to remember what Jae Kyung said to her and secretly keeps watching from afar as Su Gang kicks Jin Hyung on his chest after covering his head with a plastic bag. She gets angry and decides to step in, but she is stopped by another student named Byung Jin, who tells her about Su Gang's family having ties with the police force and the company behind the school. But Si Min couldn't take it when Su Gang was about to hit Jin Hyung the second time. She stepped in and hit Su Gang in the leg. This ended up shocking everyone around them. She pretends to have bumped into him by accident. Then she scolds everyone about silly games and removes the plastic bag from Jin Hyung's head. She orders him to go to class and leaves after apologizing to Su Gang. He asks his friends and finds out, but he nearly strangles one of them after hearing him say he is responsible for the death of the previous teacher. That night, the humiliated Jin Hyung stood on the ledge of a building. After his jacket drops, he repeatedly beats a punching bag until his fist gets bruised. The next day at school, he walks past Si Min but comes back shortly. She talks to him in another room about the bullies in the school and suggests he speak with the director. Jin Hyung tells her that everyone knows, but no one dares to punish Han Su Gang. He tearfully asks for her help and mentions that he was beaten up after telling the police. Si Min suggested that he transfer to another school, but Jin Hyung doesn't want to drop out because of the gang. While she is talking to him, Su Gang's friends are seen taking a picture of her through the narrow window. Si Min, on the other hand, kept arguing with herself about the situation at school that night. In the morning, she visits Su Gang and his friends who are smoking and asks them to put out their cigarettes. Then, Si Min talks to Su Gang and tells him to work out the traumatic issues that cause him to bully others. He gets angry and gets his fist close to her face, but doesn't land a punch. After restraining himself, he tells her to leave and releases his smoke on her face. Later, everyone in school gets a notification on their phone about a report sent to the Education Committee. The report talks about exposing the school's violence that is happening because of a single individual. Immediately, Su Gang's mother arrives at the school in her car, and the students gather to find out what is happening. She gets into the teacher's working space, and her lawyer threatens the teachers to expose the one who sent the letter. Jae Kyung tries to argue with the lawyer, but Su Gang's mother gets more angry and fires him in front of everyone. Then, she threatens Jae Kyung, pushing her around, and shouts at the dean to find out who sent the report. Si Min confesses that she was the one and begs Su Gang's mom on her knees, asking for forgiveness. At the same time, Su Gang makes Jin Hyung watch through the window as Si Min gets humiliated and tells him he could never get rid of him. He also prevents the dean from firing her later in his office, revealing his intention of having fun with her. At the police station, Si Ming meets with Kwon Jung, who tells her they don't have enough evidence to charge Su Gang. She gets frustrated after hearing this and reaches the gym, where she finds her father. He tries to talk to her, but she gets angry and leaves. While sitting alone inside a shop, Su Gang and his friends approach her. They harass her and take pictures as Su Gang forcefully makes her sit on his lap. She nearly loses her temper and makes a fist with her hand, but walks away after the shopkeeper intervenes. On the road, she bumps into a random person who rudely asks her to apologize. While she was thinking about everything she went through, he punches her and Si Min decides to stand up for herself. When the man tries to punch her again, she steps backward and kicks the man in his face. She ran away after the man was on the ground.
ground. After a while, Simin arrives at a basketball court where Su Gang and his friends are beating up some young men they got into conflict with during the game. She wears the cat-shaped mask she picked up from the gym and runs into the fight. She introduces herself into the fight by kicking Su Gang in the chest and beats him up, causing him to bleed in front of his friends. But the police arrive at the scene and everyone leaves the scene. After a while, Simin lies down and laughs alone after uncovering her mask, but Byung Jin is revealed to have seen her. She comes back to school the next day with a happy face and hears the teachers talking about Su Gang being beaten up. She pretends to be excited about the news and hears about the cat-masked man. Soon, the whole school began to share a cat meme drawn on a wall. It mocks Su Gang, but they quickly disperse after Su Gang walks into the building with his friends. He gets more angry after discovering further drawings of the cat on his desk, but Jae Kyung arrives at the scene and downplays the situation. She tells her other teacher to change the desk and protests the unnecessary commotion around such simple things. Having lost his former respect, Su Gang walks out of the class with his friend and drives in his car, speeding like a madman. Then, he suddenly breaks to ask about the cat-masked person. His friends couldn't give him an exact answer, and Su Gang beats the steering wheel. But, when one of his friends suggests hanging out with Jin Hyung, Su Gang gets a sinister look on his face. Meanwhile, Seaman rips her mask after arguing with Kwon Jung at the boxing gym accidentally. She goes to a local suit shop and asks the lady to fix the mask. But at the same time, Jin Hyung is seen being tortured by Su Gang and his friends. Jin Hyung runs down the stairs wearing only his underwear. He has a plastic bag on his face, and different humiliating things are written on his body. After reaching the bottom of the building, he removes the plastic bag and runs into a chicken shop, where Seo Sang Woo, the shop's owner, clothes him with a blanket. Then, Byung Jin, a student who frequently hangs around the chicken shop, quickly drives to the boxing gym and stops Si Min, who was about to burn the max, thinking it was not worth it. Si Min asks him why he ambushed her and tells her about Jin Hyung. He gives her a jacket and asks her for her help with the gang after mentioning he saw her beating Su Gang at the basketball court. At the shop, Seo Sang Woo makes Jin Hyung something to eat, but Jin Hyung strangely mentions the bullies are his friends. Then, he suddenly gets up and leaves after taking a knife with him. Meanwhile, Si Min arrived at the building, where Su Gang and his friends hang out, to look for Jin Hyung. Su Gang threatens to reveal the identity of the masked man and begins fighting Si Min. After a brutal fistfight, Si Min successfully beats Su Gong, but Jin Hyung arrives at the scene and tries to stab Su Gong. She steps in time to prevent him from killing him, but she gets a deep cut on her arm, making her bleed out rapidly. Seo Sang Woo arrives at the scene in time to take away Jin Hyung, who repeats repeatedly insults Su Gang using a curse word. At the hospital, Si Min wakes up with her father, So Young Tak, and Kwon Jung beside her. Si Min tells Kwon Jung not to involve the police, since Jin Hyung may get hurt. Young Tak looks at the cat mask next to his daughter's bed and goes to visit Su Song and his gang at their place. He appears at the building, wearing his daughter's mask, and introduces himself as a member of the Brave Cats. Then, he challenges them, but ends up back at the hospital after being beaten up. At the same time, Si Min is back on her feet and talks about going to school with Kwon Jung. While talking about Jin Hyung, Si Min sees her father's face and finds out what happened. As he was taking her home, Young Teek thought about the night Si Min intentionally lost a competition to prevent his gym from getting auctioned. That night, Young Teek left his daughter's life after telling her his daughter died in the ring. Presently, he cries and apologizes to her for his mistake. The next day of school, Su Gang and his friends terrorized the whole school looking for the masked cat. They checked the arm of every student, but couldn't find anyone. Si Min also gets some good news from Jae Kyung, who tells her she is about to become a regular teacher. Later, while Su Gang and his friends are talking about their failed attempt to find the cat-masked person, Su Gang sees Si Min, who is moving her body differently to avoid colliding with students on roller skaters. After seeing her holding her arm in pain, Su Gang confirms his suspicion that she is the cat-masked person and later finds her alone while she hangs up her phone. He easily holds her down on the table using her injured arm and is about to suffocate her by wrapping a plastic bag on her head, but he changes his mind and instead 
instead challenges her to a boxing match in the ring at the upcoming school festival. He threatens to release the video of Jin Hyung holding a knife welding if she refuses to get in the ring and leaves. Jai Kyung gets scared after hearing everything while standing at the door. Meanwhile, Seaman notices that Jin Hyung didn't come to class and finds out he has filled out a transfer form. She goes to his house and finds his grandma, who begs her to save her son and gives her something to eat. Later, Seaman finds Jin Hyung standing on the ledge of a building. He reveals that he went through everything for his grandmother, whom Su Gang decided to leave alone if Jin Hyung obeyed everything he said. Seaman gets him down and appreciates him for what he has done for his grandma. On the day of the festival, Byung Jin encourages everyone to support the cat masked fighter, and the majority of the students buy different cat masks. After a few dances, it was time for the main event. Simin beats up Su Gang using impressive moves and chooses to take off her mask. Although the whole school was shocked, the fight continued. The dean tries to stop the fight by threatening to remove Simin's permanent teaching position, but Su Gang orders him to stay out of it. Simin won the long fight after knocking Su Gang out of the ring with one final move and told him to apologize to Jin Hyung. Su Gang refuses, but Jin Hyung leaves after telling him he no longer wants an apology from someone who lost the entire school. Su Gang makes a final attempt to attack Simin, but she uses a special technique to knock him out once and for all. Later, Simin helps Jin Hyung file a formal complaint against Su Gang, whose female friend also appears at the station to give the video evidence to the police. Su Gang gets arrested publicly. Simin is seen working as an instructor at her father's gym and arrives at school to assume her permanent teaching position. She sees a new female student bully on her first day and walks towards her. 